Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about how to search videos in YouTube using this Matic kernel. In last video I mentioned we just find only the intent and the entities. Based on the movie we will search some movie related clippings in the YouTube channel. Let's start how to implement this feature. For that I have created a plugin called YouTube. This plugin will help us to find the videos in the YouTube. To use this plugin you need YouTube key. So you have to create your own key. If you go to this YouTube API documentation, you can find the steps how to create the keys for your YouTube channel. So once you find the key, you have to provide this YouTube connector. The next step, using this web search engine plugin, you have to import this plugin to the kernel function. So here the st steps how to import this one. So kernel import function, web search plugin, we have to pass the YouTube connector here under the name of the plugin. Once you provided, if you pass this plugin to the kernel pipeline, for example, here I specify it as a bot composer, so it will search all the bot composer uh, related videos in the YouTube and it will provide the result. The next approach, you want to strictly with a specific YouTube channel. You no need to search other you know, YouTube repository. You, you have to specify only the particular YouTube channel means you have to provide the YouTube channel ID also. So the first key is YouTube key and the second key is YouTube channel ID key. So if you provide this one, the search based on the this particular YouTube channel. Okay, let's start how to implement this feature. Go back to my previous example. The first step, you have to install this plugin. For that, you have to go to the manage NuGet package manager. You can search the plugin here. So if you go here, you can find it here, Azure AI Community, Microsoft Semantic Kernel Plugin, Web YouTube. I have to select this plugin and install it. I have already installed, so directly we jump to the code. Here I created the object for YouTube connector using my own YouTube key. So once the object has been created, this connector we have to import into the kernel. So they're using the import function, First argument, we have to pass a connector. So the connector you cannot simply pass. You have to use this web search in engine plugin. The web search plugin needed I web search engine connector interface. So this YouTube connector based on this interface only. So you just pass this object to this web search plugin. The next argument is the plugin name. So I just mentioned name of plugin is YouTube connector. So once you created the import function, this YouTube function you have to pass to this kernel pipeline. The kernel pipeline I passed as a third argument. The first argument we have to find the intent and entity using this intent plugin. After that, I invoke this YouTube function search to find all the video related for this movie information. There is a catch here. Movie import function return only the intent and entity information. So this is a just JSON format as a collection of JSON, I would say. If you pass this information, it may be give some results related to some other information because we completely passing this information to the YouTube functions. But we need only the specific movie name, movie name information. So before calling this function, we have to correct this function output to this function. So this function output is the input for this function. So before that, we have to correct this function. For that, I used function hook concept. This I already have talked about in my one of videos. I provide the link. You can find how to, what is function hook, how, how to implement all the steps. You can find it. Here I used these functions. Each function call, for example, the movie import function, before and after these two functions get invoked. So before calling this movie import function, invoking function get called after called movie import function kernel function invoked function uh, get called so each function whichever function you mentioned in the kernel pipeline each function called these two function get invoked so first step i'm checking the condition if the function view name is a exact intent and entity or not if it is exact intent and entity the condition is true the next step we reading the value from the input property. I put the breakpoint, we start the application and we will go step by step 
this logic send the query So the input contain the collection of JSON information intent and entities based on our query. It find the movie and it find the show time. It find the date. As I mentioned earlier, we cannot pass this complete information to the YouTube search function. We need only this movie name. So this value we have to pass it. For that, here I'm first deserialize this JSON using this booking output class so we find the intent and entity informations here i'm looping one by one checking here i assigned the value to the input field so the youtube function this value is the input based on the input it will start start search in the youtube repository here you can see the one step. I added this deserialized object to this meta class. So the meta dictionary, I added a booking. The key is booking and the value I added is a booking object. Why I added here means once we change the input, this value, it get overwrite. So here you can see at the moment the input value is available in this variable so once i move to the next step so once we assign this value automatically this value get overwrite for final output we need this json this deserialized json or json values needed that's the reason i added into this metadata dictionary this information later we'll read uh, this value from this uh, dictionary that's it so go back here i put breakpoint in this step continue input value just deserialize here you can see the video url all the you know youtube output it's added here that's what we get the context output context here so we need the intent also the intent as i mentioned here we have to read from this metadata here I am checking the function results. The function results first argument is the first function, the movie import function. So here you can you can check anyway. You can check the function name. If it is matching, you can read the metadata or you can use the in-text. Just time being, I added this directly read the in-text. The best approach, you have to check the function name. If the function name is matching to the extract and Indian entity, after that, you have to read the value. So the first index, I go to the metadata and metadata, I check the key booking and I read the value also here. That's what this step is doing. So output, I change the function return value also. The function return value contain the complete intent information and the second argument is a video URL. If you go to the root dialog, I put the breakpoint here. The tuple, you can see the intent information and video list. So the video list, I prepared the video card attachment and I sent this information to the channel. We'll run here and go to the emulator. Here you can see the complete uh, video information maybe some other issues the video is not displaying that's the reason i added the url in the below link here also if you click uh, this link based on our search the video get displayed here you can see the movie uh, related clippings I hope you can understand how to implement this feature in Semantic Kernel. Thanks to all.